Hello guys, my name is Armin. Today in our journey learning full tutorial on Navis Work Freedom, we're gonna look at the last two tabs, animation and output. Let's jump into Navis Work Freedom so we can see how we can leverage these two last tabs. Viewpoints can be created in Navis Work Manage with two different methods. The first one is a pre-recording. So when you open up the animation, the framing is going to look like this in Navis Work Freedom. And the next one is by using viewpoints. So you can add all the viewpoints together and you can create an animation in Navis Work Manage and you can send that to your field team to review. This is a great tool if you want to create a fly through for your logistics and for your location you can utilize this you can hit the pre-recording fly or you can create this viewpoint and this is how it's gonna look in navis work freedom when your team open it up um, on the playback panel there is gonna be the drop down that's gonna tell you which one you want to select so we're gonna select the pre-recording um, this is the play button uh but right here you have the playback time right so basically you can push it to the right all the way and to the left and also you have a percentage and a time in seconds so the percentage if you want to see like the 50 percent of this video what's going on you can type it shows over here or you can put a um, certain seconds you'll be able to see so right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna first start the playback time all the way to the first frame and if this one is selected I'm gonna hit play so you guys see how this is gonna look like when you create the animation in manage and you send that to Navis work freedom as I mentioned very useful tool to communicate the changes the models side logistics any coordination issues with your team or even if you wanna show the owner how the final product looks like you can use this method to create a very quick animation in navis work manage and share it as an nwd which is a documented file to the owner or to the user so they can see what's going on so this is how you'll be able to see it when using the pre-recorded tool so let's just change it and go to the animation using viewpoints. So these are all separated viewpoints that I created. And if I click on each one, you know, you know how I created basically stop, created a viewpoint and kind of going around. But when you add all of them in the animation tab, this is how it's going to look when you use it in Navis work freedom. So I'm going to take all of these all the way back to the, the first frame. And then I know the viewpoint selected. I'm going to hit play. So you guys can see these are moving from one viewpoint to another viewpoint showing which one we're on right now. So going to the third, going to the fourth one right now. So these are all the location that I stopped, created a viewpoint, stopped, created a viewpoint and added everything and if you want to use this even in your interviews in your showcasing the model you can start at a certain point how you can do it you can select on this viewpoint and start from there if you want to talk about it or you can go jump to a certain point and talk about this one output tab has print settings typical printer name paper size and orientation the next one would be the print preview so it's basically show you what you're gonna print out you can use the zoom in button the next thing that I want to share with you is just to combine all other tabs that we learned so if I go to the viewpoint hit the enable sectioning I can use the sectioning tool and create a section of the building also i can go to the measurement and unlock it on z we did review all of those and kind of provide an elevation or a dimension for the field so if you have a specific request to show a dimension and create a pdf from the model this is your frame and you can go to this tool to use it and generate your pdf so this is basically how it's gonna look if you want to 
create this and share it with the team. This is going to be a good tool to show the measurements, mark up, and generate the 2Ds. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. This episode was the last episode on our full tutorial in Navis Work Freedom. I tried to cover all the tabs and show, show you guys a few tips and tricks on how you can leverage Navis Work Freedom. If you like the content, please subscribe and leave a like. And let me know in the comment section down below if you're still struggling with something in Navis Work Freedom so I can create a video and help you out. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for future videos. Thank you.